Everybody, <clears throat> can you turn this a little bit this way? This way. Hi, Josh. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Michael Kemper. All right, so I'm going to not be able to talk too much on comments and stuff. So if I don't comment back, please don't be upset. So I'm going to do um, a cheeseburger cake. It's going to look like a cheeseburger. Hello, hello. No sound on my end? Oh. Can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yep. All right. So um, what I was saying was if I don't read your comments, don't get upset. I'll try to get to comments, but <clears throat> I'm going to make a cheeseburger cake. Sounds good? Okay, good. Good, good, good. No sound? Still no sound? Wait, there's sound. They're saying no sound. There's sound. Hello? Uh, there's sound now? Yes. Yes, all good. Okay. Hey, I'm reading what chat is saying, okay? So, all right. So, I'm going to start out with, um, this is going to be my top bun. But I'm going to cut it and stuff, so. Well, this will be the top bun. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Manuel. And I got people on TikTok too. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I really don't need my bun this thick, so I'm going to put it to go the way around. Okay, so that's going to be the top part of my cake, which I'll start right there. And then this is just garbage. Well, it will be garbage. Someone will eat it here at the house. <laughs> but this is marble cake. I do um, mar I do marble. All right. There. All right. I made a bigger cake that I'm going to cut out of the bottom. I wasn't sure what I wanted to make, so I made two big cakes and then I made a tap cake. So I'm like, well, maybe I'll do a cheeseburger cake. So, I had these frozen. I'm only going to use a part of that cake, so. I have a lot of leftover cake, but I'll think of something else I can make out of this cake, and we'll do that. Here you go, Tim. Just set it anywhere, because I don't need it anymore. 
So this will be the bottom part of my cake. Are you freezing for everybody? Am I freezing for everybody? Am I freezing at all, you guys? I'm gonna get a smaller knife. Okay, I'm gonna now I'm gonna carve it so it's yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Is it worth streaming it if it's freezing? How bad is it? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's freezing. How bad is it, Jamie? How bad is it? Okay, so that's going to be the bottom of the bun, the bottom bun. Okay. So I got the top part of my bun and the bottom part of my bun. I'm going to wipe up my area really quick before I do anything else. So I, you can use any type of frosting you want. I did, I did some cupcakes the other day, so I had some <clears throat> chocolate, this is homemade chocolate um, fudge frosting. So I'm just going to use that. Yeah, it's in a snag. It looks like it's back though. It's okay now? No. Not really. It's not stable. Okay. What happened to my other? A little bit of frosting on your cake board. Tim's got both. Buns, blah, blah. Hi, Scott Wilson. Danielle, hello, hello. Yes, it's the cheeseburger cake. 
I'm hoping the stream won't keep freezing. So I'm going to um, frost the inside of the cake really quick. And blew it up a little. The text. Mm -hmm. We're up to 425 viewers on TikTok. Okay. Say hello, hello. Hello, 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 everybody on TikTok. All right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Fondant's going over this. You just want a thin layer. You don't ever want too thick of fondant because you're, or excuse me, frosting because I've, I've done that before. And um, the fondant kind of like falls off of it. Like it just doesn't stand very well. So. Okay, so that's the bottom part of my cake, which we're going to set aside. I went ahead and I already made the cheese or the burger part of it. What I did is I melted um, four tablespoons of butter. Um, I added some brown Wilton frost or food coloring. And I added three little squares of Hershey chocolate, mixed it up, and then I added then I added Rice Krispie treats, so it actually looks like a burger. So when it sits on there, it's going to look like a burger. And we're going to make a this one wants to sit. We're going to make a double cheeseburger. So these are, these are Rice Krispie treats. Everything I'm doing right here tonight is edible. All edible. Those go over there. And then we'll frost this one. This is the bun, the top part of my cake. You can use chocolate, vanilla. This is um, chocolate fudge frosting, but you can use any kind of frosting you want to use. It doesn't matter. Because like I said, you're covering it with fondant anyway. I already colored my fondant. The fondant is like a light bun color and then we're going to mix some brown food coloring with a little bit of um, vodka. You can use any type. You can even use, um, you don't have to use vodka. You can use um, vanilla. I can actually use vanilla food coloring. I use vanilla, not vanilla food coloring. <laughs> vanilla um, extract, which maybe Tim can grab down for me. Vanilla extract. Thank you. Yeah, top right there. Should be right at top. Remember, you don't want your frosting to be too thick when you're going to put fondant over it. So, Thanks. and just a little bowl. Normally, you should never do that. Don't put your, don't put it back in there. I did, but it's just my own frosting. So whatever. Okay, so this we're going to set aside for now as well. So we got the top and the bottom part. Now we're going to roll out the fondant. So one second. Okay. I can't stand my area messy. It's, it cannot be messy. Oh. Can you give me that red uh, towel, Tim? I gotta have my area clean or it drives me nuts. So we're gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar. Dry my hands really good. Looks like peanut butter frosting. It could taste like peanut butter frosting, but it actually tastes just like fudge frosting. Looks like a peanut butter cream pie. All right. We're going to cut this in half. I already colored this to like a bun color. You guys can't really tell because it's really bright. Um, 
my background seems really bright, but this is like um, a little bit of a bun color, and we're going to roll this out. This is probably the hardest part for me is rolling out fondant. Just since my MS, I have a hard time now. Plenty big enough. Okay. We're going to set that aside right here. And we're going to do the next one. Uh, so the Rice Krispies, um, I took about three to four tablespoons of butter. I melted it, added Wilton brown food coloring, and added three chunks of Hershey's chocolate candy bar. Mix that up so you get that brown color. And then I added about three cups of Rice Krispie treats and you mix it. I had to get, what the hell? I had to get uh, Tim to help me mix it because um, it was hard. You don't realize how much you use something that, you know, like when you get something wrong with you, how much you depended on it. <laughs> So there's our, our next, this is going to be used for the bottom one. I'm going to put it on this so you guys can actually see it. I just put a little bit of this on the bottom just because I don't want it to move. Okay. Make sure your hands are clean. They don't have anything on them. Was thinking chocolate rice krispies? You know what, William? That would have been a good idea. I didn't think about that. I got white chocolate chips, but or white Rice Krispies, but it doesn't matter because it's still, I think the white in there, uh, the white Rice Krispies make it look like it's got a little bit of fat in it, you know, like it's 80-20. Okay. This is too big. We already know, and it doesn't matter. Just... The thing with fondant, you got to remember, is you're using your hands a lot, so just always make sure they're clean. That's my biggest thing, you know, with when I work with fondant, especially if I'm making something for somebody, I want to make sure, you know, it's clean.
Okay, and then you can just keep this for another time. You can use it for some another cake. Just um, make sure you're putting it in saran wrap to hold to keep it firm. All right, so we got the bottom part of the bun done. Okay, that's the bottom part. All right, so then we're going to do the top part. We're gonna set this, I'm gonna set this back here. The phone's ringing again. I don't know what's buzzing. It's your phone. Over there? Yeah. Huh? It's Instagram. Oh. Alright, so this is going to be the top one. The top one, obviously, you want it a little bit more round. So it's a little bit more round. You want to make sure you're. So for the top part, I just really quick want to go around like this. Oh shoot, it cracked right there. It ain't gonna work. It cracked a little bit when I cut it. That's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. We'll just do that the other side of the bun. It's a little thick. I, I probably could have um, did this a little bit thinner, honestly. It's okay what it looks like on this side because it's going to be flipped over, so it's, it doesn't matter. bun done. I'm going to leave that there. It's fine. All right. Now we're going to work on I'm going to wrap this up really quick. I got to get my white fondant. We're going to do So make sure you wrap up whatever font that you don't use and you wrap it up here. Hi, Roxanne, Caitlin, William. Hello, everybody. I'm making a cheeseburger cake, a cheeseburger cake. We already have the um, bottom bun done and the top bun done right here. These aren't actually done, but they're going to be done. Okay, so, because we still got to paint it. But until then, let's get our condiments that go onto the cheeseburger cake going. So, I got my white fondant. We're going to make tomato, onion, lettuce, and then we're going to make pickle relish. Alright. 
So this I'm going to want really thin. Like really thin. Really thin. It's okay if it tears. We want it thin. I didn't want to tear that much, but that kind of stuck a little too much. All right, that stuck too much. Scratch that. That stuck too much. If you don't have enough um, powdered sugar down here, it'll stick. Let me add a little bit more. Do that over. I can tell you, having fingernails and doing cakes doesn't go well. So I'll make sure it's really thin. Okay, so it's like really thin. We're just going to draw some lines on it. make it look like actual lattice leaf, you know? You know what I'm saying, guys? It's okay if it breaks a little. Lattice isn't perfect. It's okay that it broke right there. I don't care, so I'm going to cut it anyway. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to get a little, another little bowl and mix some yellow into it. Okay, so we got lettuce. I think that's enough lettuce. Or should I do one more? Maybe I should do one more. We'll do one more. We want it thin. I don't want a big piece, so I'm going to tear off that. I know it doesn't look like lettuce right now, but it will. Uh, William, my week's been going pretty good. How about you? You can make the, the ends like, you know, a little rough, you know, so it actually looks like lettuce. You know, lettuce isn't perfect, right? Okay, so we got our lettuce. Hold on one sec. Do I have leaf green on already? Okay. I opened the green. I'm going to put it on here just so I'm not getting food coloring on my um, countertop. My countertop. 
I don't want to get too shiny on my counter cap. <laughs> okay, you guys all see that still? All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Tito's, I prefer, oh, I was going to use this, never mind. Okay, a little bit of vanilla extract, and then what I'm going to do is take some green, leaf green, which is this one, I believe. I don't want it dark. That might be a little too dark. Let me grab, let me grab something really quick. I can tell you you should always test something before you rub it on there, because otherwise it's, see to me that's a little too dark. I'm going to empty it a little bit out, because to me that's a little too dark. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. It's better. Is this? Babe, this isn't, this isn't vanilla, it's rum extract. I thought I smelled, I was like, this is just like vanilla. Not that it matters, but it matter. not really. It's just that lettuce will taste a little rummy. Gin rummy? Okay, so we're just going to paint this. This is lettuce, yes, this is going to be lettuce. I'm just going to pat it a little bit because I don't want it too green. That'll look fake. Make sure you go all the way to the edges. Okay, so there's that lettuce. I did not go to school to learn how to do this. This is all self-taught. I taught myself to watch videos. Um, I did go to Wilton class. I did take early Wilton classes back when I was in my early, early thirties, but that just showed me how to make fondant and do the like certain types of, uh, like frostings and stuff like that. But it, I didn't do a fondant class. Fondant is something I, I really honestly learned on my own. And it takes a lot of practice because let me tell you, I've had a lot of failures with fondant. It's fun. It's not easy. Okay. We need a little more. 
Come on, don't fail me here. Okay, next we're going to make um, an onion. Next, we're going to make an onion. So, if you guys have not voted for me on the greatest baker, I would really appreciate it if you would. It would make me very happy. Trying to win the greatest baker competition. How does someone who's watching on TikTok do that? Uh, you'd have to go to TikTok and tell so people on TikTok to go to your Facebook gaming page. Right? Yeah, you could go to my Facebook gaming page and um, which is and go there and like it. It's Half Pint Blondie. Um, Halfpintblondie.com, and then you can go there and like it. You can follow my page there, and then you can also um, do the uh, vote, for vote for me. I'm sorry. I lose my train of thought pretty easy. That's not on purpose. Okay. Just trying to make a couple of the pieces, like a little bit dark spots in them, so it's not like, looks like it's all wilted. We want some wilted lettuce on the burger. Okay, so the lettuce is done. This one's kind of, I put too much on that one, but that's okay. The thing with fondant is very, to me, it's forgiving. Like, it's forgiving. Okay, so we're gonna let those dry. We're going to crinkle some of this. So it can try to hold shape. You've had a solid two to five hundred viewers the whole time. Oh. All right, and then we're going to do this one. Like I said, if it breaks, it's okay. It's lettuce. If we're not, it's okay if it breaks. We can use this one. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry. So that's our lettuce, you guys can see. Um, Angel, hello, An Angela, hello, Dave and Butch, hello. Lexi, what's up, Lonnie, I miss your booby cake. <laughs> Show it to TikTok, yeah. Um, This is the lettuce, we're gonna let it dry. So it's gonna dry over here. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're going to work on the onion and tomato. this computer because you're not lying at all on TikTok and this keeps freezing up. That's too bad. That's why I don't have the number. I'm 16. Yes, that's why because it keeps freezing. 
we go look at um see it's like non-stop well if you um need to you guys can go to TikTok to watch it yeah <clears throat> You can go to TikTok to watch it, you guys. Yeah, half my money on TikTok. She just not. She doesn't have your comments up, is all. That well, sucks. Can you restart it, Facebook one, or I'll just start that over? No, I'll we'll start that over, but it's not going to make any difference. I thought that was a good computer. All right, so now we are going to make the onion. The problem is it doesn't have that much memory. If you have fondant that's already stuck to the stuck to this, that's not good because you find that six sticks. So. Now we're gonna make the onion. And then we're gonna use burgundy color for the onion. I really wish I had vanilla instead. I'm gonna find it. Mm. Yeah, the the CPU is pegged. Hundred percent. Okay, so I'm going to do um, the onion. Not needs to be darker. I couldn't remember which one this was. It needs to be darker. No. Oh shoot, I should have put that in cardboard. Shoot. I don't want that on my... I think I need to add a little red to it. Why does it seem brown? Weird. We can move this this way so that we're not hitting the TV. Actually, no. It's hitting it even more now. Keep your head there so we're not watching football. Okay, because it's a red onion, so.
You know what? I probably shouldn't have done that. I thought that would work better, but it didn't. <laughs> That's okay. Facebook stream. Okay, we're gonna restart the Facebook stream. So come back. We'll stay live on TikTok. People still watching on TikTok, at least. Mm -hmm. A couple hundred. Cool. Gotta stop the recording too. I should have put a little purple on this or something. I feel like the um, onion should be a little bit more purplish. Just my opinion, I guess. The red onion. It won't let me do anything but uh, soften and coating, so that's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to line all these up now. I think you're back by the game. Is this right now? Hmm? Looks like you're live. The onion is probably the worst. Oh, 
Okay, so this is the onion part. Sorry about my video, guys. You can go on TikTok and watch it, though. I feel like it needs a little bit different color. I'm going to grab. Let's just see what this color does. I don't. I'll try one of these first. That'll work. It's a purple onion, you know, the, the purple onions. They're not, it's not supposed to be red. I don't know why I did red. I should just start over. I got purple everywhere. I don't care for my onion. I'm going to start my onion over. I don't like it. Onion over. Did not like that onion at all. It was not good. That's what I thought. It's supposed to be purple on the outside and white on the inside. Yeah, I totally wasn't doing that right. Just throw white onion. I'm going to do it a different way. Okay, the 
onion is, I'm just trying the onion. This is new. I've never done an onion before. So this is trial and error. So. That. And instead of cutting the onion, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do lines instead. I'm going to do this one instead. We'll see which way it looks better. I don't think I'm gonna like this idea. I don't think I like this idea. We are going to do purple, which is right here. a little bit of the red and do it. Let's see what this looks like this way because I indented it. Yeah, that looks better. Where are my others? Here it is. This looks better. Okay, that looks better to me, I think. What do you guys think? Try to do it this way, though. No, nope, can't do it that way. That cuts it completely. <laughs> Alright, we're not going to do it that way. I'll just do it the way I did it before. Alright, next we're going to make um, the tomato. There's definitely a better way to do the onion. I just didn't do it. Yeah, that's an onion. It looks like an onion to me. Does it look like an onion to you? Right? So I did purple first, and then I took a little bit of my red, my well, burgundy, and then I did that over it to give it more of a reddish purple look. 
Okay. It looks like an onion, right? Yeah. I think it do. It does? I think it, it do. It does. I, it does look like an onion. I gotta get this. You don't need this, do you? No. Hi, Talia. Because it's a cheeseburger, you could do white on it. Yeah, I put it in white onion. But. It wouldn't look anything. I can't look at anything. Yeah, on this way's better. All right, we got to do a tomato and then the relish, and then we can put it all together. And onions aren't perfect anyway, so who cares, right? And this looks like an onion, right? All right, let's do another one. One more, and then we'll go on to the tomato. Okay, so we got our onions. We'll set those aside. Now, let me wash my hands and then we'll work on the tomato. And let me wash my two things. I'll be right, give me one second, guys. Okay, so really, really quick, we had our lettuce. We have our onion. We have our hamburgers. We have the bottom bun and the top bun, which are going to be colored a little bit darker, but I'll do that in a little bit. All right, the next thing we're going to work on is a tomato, and we're just going to do um, two tomatoes. Then we have two pieces of cheese and the relish. And the relish is kind of a cool idea. So, and I'm really sorry about... Pause for a second, because this needs to be cut okay. out of One second, guys. He's got to give me ice. I'm thirsty. on the counter, it will stain it, which I don't know what I did, I just need to reach it. Okay. We'll do two, to two tomatoes. Tomatoes, we're not going to do anything major. I'm really wasting my beans. Should I do this size tomato or this size tomato? I'm gonna have to get you a better computer for that in here. Or add a lot of memory to it. Right, we're just gonna do these two tomatoes. So we've got tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Close these because if I don't close them, I'm going to get them mixed up. Okay. 
Okay. This doesn't have a cap in it. Not too strong, right? We'll see. Maybe just give me a straw so I don't have to like. All right, I washed my. Where my? Okay. Oh, so before I ruin it, like I did the last one, I'm gonna try it on here first just to see if I like this color. Because it's supposed to be. That'll work. All right, we're gonna paint these red. tomatoes. I just drew some lines in it to give it a little bit of design so it's like not just a flat circle. All right, we're on to our second tomato. Katie, thank you. It looks great. Thank you, Angela. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure if you have not voted for me yet on The Greatest Baker, I am in a competition. Go to halfpintblondie.com and vote for me, please. And also like and follow the page if you would like to. I appreciate it. For those of you that are on TikTok watching and don't know who I am, really. Okay, those are my tomatoes. So we're going to set those aside. All right, the next thing we need to do, let me close up my red so I don't get it confused. Can you show TikTok the tomatoes? Oh. TikTok, here's the tomatoes. Okay, let me wash this out really quick. I can't tell you guys this. When I'm done doing a cake, my kitchen's a freaking mess. Like a mess. All right, now we're gonna do cheese. We're gonna do cheese and then the relish. That way, I wanna do the cheese that way I'm done with the fondant. Tim could come over here and make my sesame seeds if he would. That would be really cool if you would help me. Yeah, Babe, all you gotta do is like pick off stuff. I bought this, I'm gonna see if it works. 
it's this little toy. Um, it's like legit a toy. Like for Play-Doh. <laughs> Perfect. That's what I wanted. I wanted to make little tiny sesame seeds. That's all Tim had to do. Really easy for you, babe. That's so easy. What do you need for? So I can start on the next part. I'm naked. We're not naked. Just need to take a little fondant and do that. That's it. Not too big. It doesn't really work. I thought it would work, but it didn't. Well, those aren't. Those are too big. Right. So what do you make, want me to do? Make me some seeds. Just set them right there. Okay, we're going to make some cheese. We are? Yeah, we are. Butt cheese? We're going to make some butt cheese. I'm sorry about my Facebook, you guys. You can always go to um, the TikTok and watch it. The mm -hmm. comments are pretty rude, but Where are the comments? it's just a nice outfit. I like melons, but the video quality is better. <laughs> okay, we're going to make cheese. I could have painted it, but that would just color it. Cheese. We'll make some American cheese. What do you need? More. I forgot to make white fondant for the mustard, but oh well. It doesn't need mustard on it, I guess. I got the mayonnaise. Issues. Is cheese a little bit longer than this? Yep. Unless it's um, like Swiss or... Swiss is white, bro. White, yellow, uh, yeah. If you're making American, that ain't it. That's okay, we're going to add a little orange. A little orange in here. I might need more orange. I just you can always add more, you can't take away. So it's 13 to 3 Carolina. 13 to 3 Carolina. Come on, anyway. Should we go out? Mm -hmm. This is probably the worst part for me because of my MS. My hands get, my arms and my hands get really tired and numb. You can use part of the cheese as mustard. I think that looks like cheese now. Yeah. 
Hell yeah, we got some American Merkin. You gotta put some glaze on it. Oops. Bro. It's fine, just keep them over there. Here, put them in here. No, they're because they're not going to stick together. No. Some of those are kind of big, Tim. I don't care. They look good. So, it'll do. Nice attitude. I don't think anyone's going to eat it. Oh, we almost stuck that up. Excuse my language, but we did. All right, I want to get a perfect square. I don't know how to do this. So it needs to be a little bit bigger than this. Because we want the cheese to hang over the meat. That totally looks like American cheese. Do it. What's with all the dots in it? It's from it's from that. I'll tell you what, make sure you guys put enough uh <laughs> powdered sugar because otherwise your shit sticks. You want your shit sticking. You want your shit sticking. Hopefully I can get this up without it tearing because I don't need Okay, we got our cheese. Um, now we're going to do the relish, which the relish is going to be made in a cool way. We're going to take gummy bears. But we're only going to take the green ones. Just the green gummy bears. Okay. Then we're going to cut them up. You couldn't food process them? You no, know, it would be so sticky. Oh. Sharpness. 
We're making relish. This is going to be relish, you guys. Make a different knife. This will be a knife. This knife is better. I probably don't need all of them. Perfect color for cheese it was, man, wasn't it? Oh no, George, Jorge, Jorge, Georgie. Man, you don't realize how... I can only imagine when you swallow gummy bears, what they do inside your um, tummy. You know what I'm saying? Almost done. Really sucks Facebook's not working right. Did they go over TikTok? I don't know. I kind of wish I could see TikTok comments since I can't see Facebook comments. They're not, they're not saying anything anymore. Okay, and we're going to take um, piping gel. Piping gel is edible, so we're just going to take some piping gel. And then we're going to take some... These broken wings. Green. Food coloring. So we have relish. I'm going to add just a little bit more in there because It's a little dark. But that's okay. It looks like pickles. So there's our pickles. See? Maybe our pickles. Alright, let me wash my hands and then we'll get to the next part. to get to the assembly part of the cake. I'll put this back on here now. Do you have your your torch thing, Tim? Need it. 
sol. I'm going to use vanilla for this. And with this, I'm going to practice on a piece of this first because, like I said, you don't ever want to ruin your cake. So you just take a little piece off and <clears throat> we're going to practice. I'm going to add a little bit of brown. Where do you keep the lights? I'm over there. I don't need a light yet, though. I don't know if I like that. It's not bad, but it's not the greatest. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. All right. This is the bottom of the cake. So we're making the cake a little bit darker because you know it's a cake, a bun. I mean. All right, so that's the bottom. We got our cheese, our hamburger, which is gonna go here. Okay. And then we got a piece of cheese. I feel like the cheese should be cut a little different. We got the cheese. Okay. I need, I'm, I'm feeling like this needs to be pushed in. Well, it's okay. Like your stool. Okay, we're gonna real quick do the top of the bun. I'll get to that, babe. Layla, quit breathing so much.
All right, how's that look for seeds? Nobody's really commenting on Facebook, so I can't tell. But all right, so we got that and that. All right, so then I got the bun for the top. How many people are watching there, just so I know? Uh, a little less than 200 right now. Okay, so that's the bun, this is the top. This is the cheeseburger part right here. And then we're going to add the condiments. So how does how should it go? Should it go onions, tomatoes, relish, lettuce? No, it's gonna be easier to put the relish on first. All right, we're gonna do relish. Can I have a spoon, please. A what? A spoon. I'm gonna do relish first. I think it's going to make it all bumpy. Okay. Yeah. I can just be kind of sticking out the side. Yeah. I'm going to do tomato. I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, onions first. Then we got tomatoes. And this is just piping gel. This is edible. A lot of bakers use it. It's just piping gel. You want to use it so you make sure your stuff sticks. Tomatoes, relish, can you do it over in the middle? Yeah, I'm done. You mean my move my thing over? Yeah. Oh. Like this? Yeah. Okay, we're doing relish. Okay, and then we got our lettuce. Might not need all the lettuce I made. I'm going to take some of it off.
I'm going to add a little bit of piping gel right here just so I can put the um, one. You might want to throw some relish over the top of the lettuce there. So you can kind of hit all of it. I know I did kind of hide all the relish, but that's okay. Okay. All right, and then we are going to put the top on. And then I need Tim's torch. We're going to melt the cheese. This is awesome. Nicely detailed color to write on. I love the cake one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wish you guys could see it sideways, though. I don't know if I'll get this lit. Okay, low as can be. And just, we're doing just the cheese. Very little bit. Okay. You wanna do it or you want me to do it? And just the cheese, very little. Do a little more up top, okay? No, 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 no. You don't need it. You made me do it. Okay. Okay. No, not more than that. That's fine. Like that. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Let's go. Good. Goes to again. Okay. Good. All right, and that's it, guys. Cheeseburger cake, all edible. Is there a way we can lift it to where they can see it, like, or move the camera, like, so you can see the detail here? Can you guys see it all good? I kind of messed up on the, the fondant on this side a little bit, but melted the cheese so it looks like it's melted. Um, we're gonna move the camera so you guys can see like the inside of the cake. Rotate it slowly. I'm just trying to fix a spot. <laughs> Can I rotate it slowly? I kind of mm -hmm. have a spot right there where the fondant got messed up, but that's okay. And then what about my Facebook people? Maybe my top bun's a little thick. Yeah. I'm move this and the ingredients. Okay. Now you guys can see it. Rotate it really slow because it's like. 
I should have put the tomatoes farther out too, because you can kind of see the tomato over here, right there. The tomato, you got the lettuce, you got the melted cheese, you got the Rice Krispie treats for the hamburger. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'm very pleased with it. I mean, there's a few things I would do different next time, but this is the first time I've ever made cheeseburger cake. So keep that in mind, the first time I've ever made this, this color, or this food cake. So I think I did pretty good for my first time. The cheese looks melted. We need a little torch on that. Got the red onion, the lettuce, the tomato, the pickles, or the relish, I should say. So. It looks good. I would cut it right now for you guys, but I need to take pictures for the competition I'm in. So I don't want to cut it yet. But when I do cut it, I will uh, take a picture of you guys and show it. So. There you go. I hope everybody liked it. What do you think, babe? He looks good. I think the top bun's a little big. Yeah, I think the top bun's a little bit big. I probably could have cut it a little bit. I probably could have cut the bun a little bit uh, smaller, but, you know, you, you don't know till you, till you try, so. I just want to take this piece off, but. All right, everybody, please, if you have not went and followed my page, I'm Half High Blondie on Facebook. I'm partnered with them. I'm also in a competition, The Greatest Baker. Um, if I win, um, I win $10,000, and I will be um, featured in a magazine. I really would like to do this. It's always been my dream to be on, like, Food Network. or I've tried out for so many different things. I was on MasterChef. Um, well, I wasn't on the actual show itself, but I did try out for MasterChef, and I made it. Out of like 217 people in my group, they took, chose seven. I was one of the seven. It was really awesome. Very, very nerve wracking. I will tell you that. Um, but I love baking. I love making 3D cakes. I don't like making regular cakes. I like making cakes that look like, like an item, like a purse, so cheeseburger, you know, that kind of stuff. So. Thank you guys for all coming. I appreciate you, and you guys all have a wonderful night. Thank you, thank you.